Hello. Okay, this is Rhett. So my physics students, they need to pick physics questions and solve them and show them to me and they have problems with it. How do you find a good physics question? What makes a good question to solve to show that you really understand the material? Okay, so I'm going to give you some questions that I wrote and we can say are those good or not so great questions. Um, and these are all for you know, kinematic stuff, position, velocity, acceleration. That's the that's the physics content we're in. Let's go to question number one, problem A, I call it, and let's look at it. A plane has a mass, is landing on a runway, the runway has a speed, blah, 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 and the runway is a certain 2,000 meters long. What's acceleration? I mean, it's not a bad question. Um, students would say this one's kind of okay. This is one that we did in class very similar to this. Um, no one picked up on the fact that it has the mass that you don't need. Uh, some people said, well, you can't find the acceleration without the time, but you can. Okay. So it's, it's, they would say it's okay. I would say, here's my score, three out of 10. I'm gonna give them all scores out of 10. 10 being, this problem is so awesome. Uh, zero being, I don't even understand why you're asking this question. So this, it's kind of just, it's meh, right? There's nothing really great about it. Uh, yeah, you need some physics to solve it, but I don't know. It just doesn't, it, I think also this has a low score because we did something almost exactly like this in class. Problem B. Your car is the fastest all around. I wrote this. It has an acceleration of 8.2 meters per second squared. You start from rest. How long would it take to get up to a speed of 55 meters per second? What's the speed in miles per hour? What's the average speed? How far did you go? Okay, students kind of like this one. There's like, there's a lot of stuff in there. There's a lot of things to look at. So they they rated this one pretty high. For me, four out of ten. You know, yeah, there's a lot of parts to it, but does it show an understanding of physics by answering all the multiple parts? I mean, it's possible. It's just again, it's there's not that much there. Um, breaking it just because it has a whole bunch of different questions, they say that's really good. I don't think that's necessarily the greatest thing. I'm going to show you some good ones, don't worry. Problem C. A car, a police car starts from rest and accelerates to catch a speeding car. Where do they meet? Um, the students said this one was challenging and therefore it was good. And I mostly agree with them. Uh, this is a two problem there's two, two variable problem. You have to find the position of both the cars, when are they the same, where, and so forth. So it, it is a more challenging problem. They, they rated it pretty high. I gave it about a five. Um, yeah, the physics in here is, is challenging. Challenging, or actually the algebra is challenging. But, I don't know, it just doesn't, I'm not inspired. This doesn't inspire me and make me go, yeah. Okay, next problem. Can you have a hang time of over two seconds when you jump? They consistently rated this problem as terrible. Probably the worst problem. Maybe not quite the worst, but almost the worst. They said this is a terrible problem. And, that, and they said, because it doesn't really give you a lot of stuff. How are you going to do anything? It doesn't give you anything. My score, 10 out of 10. This problem is great. It's interesting. You have to make some, some assumptions. You're not looking for one value. It's not a box answer. It's not what goes in the box. This is a great question. I probably wouldn't ask this in class on a written assignment because I, I don't like them as open-ended because I don't want students to get you know overwhelmed and not do anything. So I'd, I'd give them more of the boring questions. Before a question that they do and they solve and they make a video and submit it to me, this one is great. I think they would be interested in it too. It, it kind of sparks this, this interest. Yeah, can you, can you jump in the air for over two seconds? I'm not gonna tell you the answer. And that's a great question. Problem E, rocket in space has a speed, it fires its rocket, it slows down, what's the speed later? They, they said this one, some said it's not good because it doesn't give the time, but it does. Um, so they were kind of medium on this one. Um, me, I don't, there's nothing really here. It's vol 
definition of acceleration, change in velocity or change in time. There's not much there. Not a good problem. Okay, here's the last problem. I'll add sound effects. And they said, this is the worst problem ever. It doesn't give a question. It's just a video. They didn't like it. You probably can guess. 10 out of 10 for me. This one's a great problem, right? I mean, it's real. It's a rocket. It's stuff that you can get from the video. You can answer all sorts of questions. Was it moving at a constant speed? Was it moving at a constant acceleration? What was the acceleration? What was the velocity at the end? What, was it, what would be the velocity after 10 seconds if it stayed the same acceleration? I mean, there's so it's so rich. And, and it shows all the different things you can do. It's a great question. Okay, so there are some examples of great and not so great questions. Now you can come up with your own.